So what's up guys? I'm here at Rafa's garage trying out this new Osmo Joan Mobile 2 and we're working on my girl's car today. Um, we're actually putting the C1 scrub bar on it. Uh, this is the Type R. And that's the regular version. So that's the difference between both of them. We saw these little grooves. That one doesn't have it. Um, and this is the front scrub bar. So it's pretty easy to install. All you have to do is mount it there. That's one of them. And there's the other one. So you just gotta take off the, the nuts on them, which these are size 12, I believe. And then put on the front strap bar like this. Put it there. And I believe it's an L and a size 17 for the shoes that go on here. So that's what we're gonna do today. So the C1 is installed already. There it goes. Uh, don't forget to put the little spacers. I don't know if you can see them. There's little spacers there. Because if you don't put those spacers, um, you are gonna bend it, over tighten it and bend it. That's why the spacers are there because you have a little bump right here. If you see it? So then you have a gap there. So don't forget that spacer I did. And that's why I had to take it off and put them on. I didn't think I had them, so but I didn't over tighten them, so that's why they're not bent. I already knew about it. But then I saw that they were in the bag and I put them on. So we got more carbon fiber parts. I was waiting for my wife to get here. That way she could open it up, baby. You want to open your parts? So, we got more carbon fiber parts. She's gonna open it right now. So. what my baby got more CF for her car so this is all the interior pieces on the engine carbon fiber nice all the way from Ireland so we're gonna slap these bad boys on right now uh, getting ready for Paul Walker's car show this Sunday, she's gonna be in it, and so is my car, so that's why we're getting it ready. because the DDPR intake manifold the C1 is hitting actually um, the coolant reservoir and over here you see it hitting the intake manifold so she's probably not gonna run the L piece this L piece here um, but we are gonna run the C1 engine cover we just got to move this reservoir a little bit to the left or a little bit down and see how it is. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So ran 
into another problem. Uh, two of those, that one and that one, are oxidated, so it's dirty. So we're gonna use a thread lock, uh, re-thread it. Um, hopefully that works. If not, we have to change the whole valve cover. Hopefully it doesn't come down to that. engine cover on we adjusted the reservoir it's just a little lower so and she put that cover that cover even this one right here um, and this one the only one that got left out was the L piece that goes right here uh, reason being is because it was hitting the intake manifold but later on we'll finish we'll end up cutting it a little bit and try to make it fit hopefully um but that's it man thanks for watching please like subscribe leave a comment down there and let me know some suggestions how do you like this uh stabilizer is it better or not let me know mounts Thank you.